What's going on guys, Vic VicVB back with another Game Case Arcades video. Real quick before we send out the Game Case, the portable arcade, we're gonna unpack it just to show you and to prove to you that everything is inside this one suitcase. So this is Sims Arcade, we're finalizing it, this is dumb, we're going to UPS today and we're gonna ship it out. To my surprise again, Sim ordered this on eBay and he just broke it to me that he is from Denmark. We have to send this thing out all the way out to Denmark. So we're gonna get a shipping quote for him. But real quick, this is the last time I'm shooting a promo video. We're doing everything. This is it. This game case is going out today. And real quick, let's just unpack it and show you and prove to you that everything is within this one suitcase. Real quick, we flipped the microphone over. We're gonna unpack it right in front of everybody. Give it a little pull down, unlatch. And again, everything is within this suitcase. For Sims, we even got a blue four terabyte external hard drive just to match his blue control panel. Just give him a little bit of a touch on that. So we do have the external hard drive. We do have the laptop. We have the whole arcade. We have the controllers. And yes, we do have the plug to the laptop. So again, we're gonna unpack it and we're just gonna look at it real quick on how it goes. So the best thing I always say is that you do want to take out the Xbox 360 controllers. But before we do that, let's just move the laptop over only because I'm doing it with one hand. Again, we're going to remove Xbox controllers. We'll put this onto the side. Second Xbox controller. Again, no cuts on this. You do have two USBs. One is for the LEDs to the actual arcade and one is to the Zinmo. So I do have these rolled up like this. So some people like to um, put the laptop on the side closer to a TV and use the control panel. So this is six feet of wire. The LED is only about two feet, but that's fine. Again, underneath here in the back, we do have the Xbox 360 dongle to make the, the controllers work. Right underneath the secret compartment, you have one half of the power supply. And on the left side, right here, you do have the plug that connects to that. Again, everything is within this. You got the laptop, the charging cable, the external hard drive, the Xbox 360 controllers. You got the dongle, everything. This is set just to show you guys again how you unpack it and at least put it back. Again, when you do want to put it back, I do suggest that you do take out the cord, half of the cord. This goes into the power brick, kind of coil it up. And you're going to literally tuck this right on the left and down like it, it, it's going to end up right here. I do have padding here, so there's no way that you can mess up the wires. We're going to put that in, followed by the 360 controllers. Number one, number two, actually, before you do this one, sorry, you should put in the brick, take your brick, coil it up. Always take the brick first wire on the inside, drop it in and slide. Won't go all the way in, just like that. There's a screw that prevents it from going too far. You tuck it down. Again, we have our USBs. Now we could put our 360 controller back. Now we could take our dongle, which is already coiled up nicely. We're gonna sneak all that wiring inside along with the dongle, just like so. Again, unfortunately, this is the Zinmo and this is the LED, so there's no way to really hide this. You could tuck it in, but for now, again, this way people could see it. That's there. We're gonna take our laptop. The laptop, again, will rest a little bit on controller two joystick once you have it lined up. So again, controller two joystick, it's okay. It's not that much stress. We're gonna make sure that no USBs get caught, external hard drive, and we are closed. That is it, add some force to it. Take your latch, cross it, add some force to it. Take your latch and close it. That is it. This right now again is ready to go.